How are we doing everyone? My name's Andre Pillow and I'm gonna give you five ways that you can improve your efficiency and your pace of play when you play your next round of golf. Number one, be on time. That doesn't mean showing up right when your tee time is. That means arriving at the golf course at least 20 minutes prior to your tee time. If you wanna hit range balls to get loose or if you feel like you wanna hit a couple putts before your round, I recommend getting there at least 55 minutes to an hour prior to that round to get all those activities in and so you can get to that tee box five minutes prior to your tee time ready to go. Number two, make sure you know the pace of play at your facility before you take off on that first hole. Here at Blyfield Country Club, the expectation is that you play each hole in about 12 to 13 minutes, which means you're finishing your round in around four hours. Anything over that, we know your pace of play is a little slow. There's other ways to identify your pace of play when you play. When you're teeing off as you're playing your holes, if the group behind you is approaching the green or on the green, they're too close and you may have to let them play through or pick up your pace. Number three, make sure that you don't take too many practice swings between each shot. I know that we want to play perfect golf, but taking more and more and more practice swings between each shot doesn't help us. It only slows us down and makes our pace of play a lot worse. So limit it to one, maybe two practice swings in your pre-shot routine and make sure that you go ahead and hit that golf shot and play golf how it's intended to be played. Number four, make sure that you park your golf cart in the appropriate place when you approach the putting surface of each hole. If there's not a cart path or, or markers that identify where you should go, make sure you park your golf cart between the hole that you're on, the green that you're on, and the next tee box so we can get in that golf cart and efficiently move to the next hole. And number five, be efficient when you make the turn between hole number nine and hole number 10. It's a great time to get a bite to eat. It's a great time to use the restroom or stop by the pro shop, but make sure that you are as efficient as you possibly can. Perhaps order that food on hole number nine prior to finishing that, that green um, and make sure you use the restroom and stop by the pro shop quickly if you have to and continue on to keep that great pace of play for the rest of your round.